wrong one's gone down the middle there. <laughs> it's like I've tried not to hit the line. Right, Matthew, we're going to do an iron off. An iron off. Look um, like cavities. Cavity. What do we call this bracket? Game improvement. I think everyone's looking for game improvement. Yeah. I would imagine the people wanting to buy these kind of irons are people who are wanting distance, launches, forgiveness. Forgiveness are the terms, yeah. aren't they? So whatever you want to call this. We're going to compare them, we're going to look at price, we're going to look at who might suit which ones, and we're going to choose our favourites come the end. Cool. Let's get out there, Matt's going to show us how to hit these bad boys. So we're going to start with the Sim, Matthew. Sim, yes, tailor-made Sim. Max iron. Question for you then, just as you put them all down by the ball, mm -hmm. so if you grab them all for me, so before you start, yeah. before the numbers are seen and all the rest of it, and we start dialing into loss and the rest of it, I want you to pick a definite one that you would choose from the looks and one that you would discount. Ooh, what so, I discount, unfortunately, so, it's the cleaver. It has to be. It's the, well, it's the most noticeably yeah. different in its appearance. Is it, it? So pop that one down. Totally is, yes. The Cleveland is too aggressive for your looks. You don't want to play that game. No. In the launcher. That's um, my six iron he's put on the ground there. That is. Um, and now you've got to choose one. Oh, man. Because obviously looks are a key part of buying clubs. Obviously, like, then you do numbers. Like, Will it change? Subject, you know, you're going on pure cosmetics now. If I'm, if, if I'm in the market for these types of clubs, yeah, put yourself in that space. Then I'm going to go for the ping. Cool, ping chosen, and the launcher has been discarded. Let's hit the sim. So Matt's going to hit each shot four or five times and we're going to collect an average of each and we'll deliver the numbers at the end. As he goes through these, I just want to know a little bit about looks, feel. I want to get an idea of what he's getting in his mind as he kind of sends them off first initial hits. Oh, crikey. How does the sim look there, Matthew? It's got its visible tech, which we will come to the tech on all these clubs. Um, it does have the white line up line on the bottom, which is quite nice. Yeah. Nothing offensive down there. It looks similar to the ones that I had down there, apart from the ping that was obviously a different, completely different colour. Oh, so you think it fits into this genre well? Like yeah. it looks like you would expect this genre club to look. Yes, almost, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Go on, and let's see how it feels. Feel, sound, I mean, it's like... I find it hard to get away from an iron doing what I want it to, like the controlledness. As soon as I get something like these in my hands, not just this one, but these types of clubs, I just feel like I need to power everything. Yeah, so they <laughs> feel explosive. Like, yeah, and they're chunky uh, down by the ball, these types of clubs, and the lofts obviously we'll get to, but they're a lot stronger. So a seven iron looks like a six or a five in my head. So yeah. I feel like it should be going further. Yeah, so you're actually now swinging it like yeah. a six or a five yeah, iron. Exactly. Well, a seven iron, you might actually be like- Like seven iron, I'm like trying to get it like yeah. there. Well, it's a good point you make, because it's actually the contradiction almost of what this is. So yes, is that six or seven you've got in your this hand? This is meant to be a seven. Yes, yeah, so it's a seven iron, but yeah. you're smart enough to, I mean, I think lots of people are subconscious enough to, you know, sense that something's a foot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then if you do, I mean, people deliver, I don't deliver the same angles with my five iron as I do with my seven iron. No, and I'm like. So like, there's lots of questions about the tricks that they're all playing mm -hmm. in these sets. Because I'm literally like already thinking about more sweepy rather yeah, yeah. than down yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So cool. because of the length and what the loft looks like. Yeah. Good shot. Ping G710. Now so this is the, the chosen one. The chosen one. It does yeah. look good, doesn't it? Like I, I picked it because it's got a thin top line, basically. Which it hasn't, as in if you were to physically measure them, we we'll maybe we'll do it later, it, it might be the thinnest, but I think the black also makes you see Looks less, skinnier. it like it blends it away. Yeah. That's main the main reason why I've basically picked this. Yeah because of the 
top line. So I want to know how it feels compared to that sim when you hit this. So to my ear, it sounds very similar. The sound to me isn't as extreme. Okay, so it's not as explosive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, more like what an iron should feel like yeah. in my head, basically. Yeah. yeah. A bit toey that one, but still similar. This also has the white line up line. Yeah, which is um, nice on the pings, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I don't think they all do, so tailor made and pings over do have a line up line at the bottom. Yeah. It is nice. Oh, that's a lovely right one. So out of those two at the moment, you're gonna choose that one still? Yeah. Look and feel Look, is sound, in feel. place. Yes. This is Cobra Speed Zone now. I've hit this club and it's brutal and it's... It looks... It doesn't look like a 7 iron. Yeah, again, you're, you can see that it looks like, less. But I feel like I could probably hit this over 200 if I yeah, wanted yeah. to. Yeah. What about the top of that? It's got very... It's the most distinct on the top. It, I, uh, that's not offending me. I actually quite think that... I think that's quite funky. Yeah. And I like it. Yeah. Um, and then things like offset compared to the other ones and then also the chrome finishes. I think that one's got, apart from the top bit, it's got some classicness about it as a golf club. Yeah, I would say like if it didn't have that funkiness on the top, I would say I would find it hard to um, tell which one was tailor-made and which one was Cobra. Yeah, they, they both they are in a similar, similar. bracket. Aren't yeah, they? yeah. Looks, colours, everything pretty similar to yeah. be honest. Yeah. Another white up line on the bottom. The white line up line. Bit smaller this one. But okay. Cool still. All good. But yeah, like this. This isn't a seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think any of them are, bro. I, I'm like literally thinking. Wait till you get to the last power. Oh, crikey. And that's loud, isn't it? Yeah, it is loud. It is feeling different. Explosively wacky, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've tried to move that one differently. It's a more neutral fly, isn't it? Mm. Is that my six iron I spy there, Matthew? What is this? I mean, it's, it's a hybrid, isn't it? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> Turbo and everything, crikey. So this is the one you discounted? Yeah, This is the one you're going to have to hit in all kinds of <laughs> Get used to it. I'm probably going to have to hit a whole set like this, aren't I? <laughs> God, I see this, when I play this, it blends more with my hybrid than I look at it as my iron. So you're looking at it in a batch of irons because it yeah. is in this batch. It's yeah. in you know, this is the club you'll be swapping it for. You know, yeah. I don't have a six iron, this is it. But I see it as a 180 to 200 yard shot, which is where my hybrids often sit. Yeah. So you're looking at it as an iron, I think is a mistake. Obviously the flip side to that is you will have a nine iron in that and an eight iron and all the rest of it. So then you, you do have to look at them as irons, mm -hmm. which you, uh, you would struggle, I guess. Sound. Similar. Yeah. I think this one has a little bit it's more of a hybrid testing hollow I, body tint to it. I don't. Do you not? No, I didn't there. Not at all. Like, I hear more of a tings than hybrids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not tingy, I wouldn't say. Yeah. Yep. Mm, that was a bit clickier, but that was a bit toey. Not a bad shot, though bit left but like it's up in the pack yeah Titleist T300 this was my old power six when I had two six irons and it does look powery doesn't yeah, it yeah it was a five this is probably the least offset out of all of them it's a Titleist isn't it they're not going to disappear from what they want it to look mm. like they know their audience want it to look yeah Titleisty even though the back of that is very visual tech for them. Yeah, yeah. Um, ping was the most offset so far. Right, okay. Um, Which I would say is quite true to ping like, as well. Phew, yeah. Pretty straight for these guys. I love this six iron. This yeah. made me really want to hit my five iron. When I gained this club, it wasn't always run to my hybrid stuff. It enabled me to then, when it was this club's turn, yeah. to bring it out and want to hit it. It is interesting that. 
techy bit at the back, isn't it? Like that's not tightless, do that. No, that's. that's these companies like they want to keep expanding, don't they? So you yeah. have to keep trying. Like, does this work? Will <laughs> this work? Oh, it is your six iron. Look, no, it it finds straight. lines. Yeah. How did that feel? I, the sound of that was n the nicest of all of them for me. Didn't sound anywhere near as like high pitched power. It felt no. a little bit more blendy. Yeah, I would I would agree with that. Compared, especially just after hitting your yeah, which is a high pitch hybrid, hybrid tingy yeah. in my mind. That's not that's not tingy at all. That's because obviously this is built. They want this to cross over into their other sets. They yeah, don't yeah. want like the. I'm probably the only person in the world who's comboing the HP Turbo. Mm -hmm. They're not built really to be comboed. I think yeah. they should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the world isn't quite there yet. Um, this one is built the other way. I think it's knowing that you could AP2 or, or T100, T200 and this. And this, yeah, yeah. Um, it, 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 it is a, it, a wind. It'll definitely win for anyone who's thinking of wants the blend but get really aggressive help at the top end. Yeah. Epic. Indeed. Um, like, very traditional again, I would say. Well, only in one sense, uh, when we get to the lofts. Well, yeah. Tradition we doesn't aren't exist. We are talking lofts yet. We're not in that category. <laughs> We're in the but lofts. But I agree. Looks wise, it's got to be close to a winner. Yeah. I like it's sexy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's like the combination of the colours I like on the back and when they would sit in your bag, yep. you would go, oh yeah. And I don't they think they good. look chunky monkey ugly. No. Like the sim looks stupid. Yeah. And I think, and obviously the HB Turbo looks stupid. And yeah. I don't mean that for both of those clubs. I mean as in like, if you see them, there will be people who like you did, what's this? That's yeah. not a, what a golf club should look like. And even the tight list has like you were pointing at that button, like it verges on a bit like, really? Mm -hmm. um, but this doesn't, this kind of says, I'm sleek, yeah. I'm, I'm nice, Good but looking. I'll help you, is yeah. kind of what it says. This is the only one that I've noticed a bit out the back. Okay. Um, obviously your cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> is there lot. something out the back <laughs> of that? <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think that's probably to do with the loft when we get to that yes, bit again. absolutely. Um, so let's hear but, the yeah. sound of this then compared to the others. Because this is forged. This is forged yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. This one is ticking some very different boxes. Yeah. Sound-wise? More meaty, but I think that's again the loft that I'm presenting. I think as well it wasn't as high pitched, it's mm. more of a, like a thud yeah. rather than like an explosive Explosion, ping. yeah, yeah, yeah. So at the end of hitting, sound and feel, okay, if you grab all the clubs for me. So sound and feel. Sound and feel. Discard I'm... one and pick one. Oh, really? Yeah. One's Gee. gotta go. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. That's fine. It's only my six iron. I can't wait. <laughs> Goodbye you again. <laughs> and you've got to choose one. Oh man, like I'm getting rid of Taylor Maiden Cobra. Yeah. And I'm stuck now. So you're stuck. Show me the three. What you got? I've got the Ping, the Tightlist, and the Callaway. Okay, that's your choice. That's fine, let's stick with those. Right, let's look at the numbers then, so see if again the changes in picks happen of what, you know, which one you've, because at the moment, it, it's, you've added two to, the, to your pick, haven't you? You've I have, added two yeah. On the yeah. So Sim, 183. 183 carry, yeah. Cobra, then Ping. Ping uh, 183. Yeah. Then Cobra 185. Yeah. They're all seven irons. So they're the three seven irons that I hit. Okay, so tight list, is that the next tight one? List. Down, hang on, because it's hard to see if Cleveland I'm skipping here. Up a bit. So Cleveland's a six iron. Cleveland turns into the sixes now. 188, yeah, one eight but eight. the Cobra is 1857, are you saying? Yes. And the ping is a 1837? Yeah. And it's a 183 sim? Yes. So the, high, the launcher isn't long enough for those kids. Depends on the loft, doesn't it? 
We'll see what yeah, the which losses we'll get are. To. Yeah. But if we're going six to seven only, we're at loss. Not the biggest um, jump. Tightness is blends in as a six going one nine four. Yeah. So that's a good jump up. Yeah. From your one eight five seven irons. And then the Epic is going 199 with some 200s. Yes. Which is a healthy jump up. But I mean, it's 10 yards to 14, 15 yards. So it's a bit of a jump. Again, we'll come to the lofts in a second. Heights, let's start down at the bottom here. Which one went the highest, do you reckon? In your head, you would think you Out of the six irons. Out, out of the six irons, you would say that your launcher would go high. That's you? what you would visually I look would, at. Yeah, I would think of. So let's go Epic went, what was the average height of the Epic there? Uh, 27. Titleist 31. Yeah. So Titleist going 31 at 194 is good, isn't it? Yeah. Now we jump into the seven irons, so we'll compare seven iron to seven iron. 32, 32 with the Cobra, which is pretty good for a 185. 33 with Ping, that's good height. And then a bit low 30 with the Sim. Yeah. Spin game, who's getting crazy on the spin? Anyone, these are seven irons, 5,000 just under, 5,000 just under in the Ping, so very similar. And then the Cobra sneaking over the 5,000 at 5 one. So just under 5,000 is just over. Very similar between the seven irons. Yeah, very similar. Which are six irons, so not bad not numbers bad, yeah. considering yeah. the loft, are they? Yeah. Launcher, turbo, spinning at 4.7 in four, a six. 4.8 it is basically. Yeah, 4.8, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So not far off what the seven iron of the Cobra is doing, is it? No. So it is, it's, it's, it's fitting more into that batch as a seven and a half or six and the other, you know, in between the six and the seven, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Tightness spinning at four, six, slightly lower. Again, it's a powerful club, I expect that. Yeah. And then Callaway, Callaway three, three seven, seven, whammy, wowzers, wow. <laughs> <laughs> there are reasons. Is the Callaway staying in your hand? So if we do a number choose after that, which one's going? Now you've got to choose one, lose, what's up? Have you changed any opinions on your one that's going? I presume not. Well... So the thing I think, in, in my defense of the turbo, which is why I play it and you don't, I'm a sweeper, you're not. Yeah. You are totally trying not to hit this club in the air. Yeah. You're I'm doing what again, you do, I? which you're like not playing it, yeah. you're playing you yeah. and what you look at. Yeah. So I would argue, again, this is why it's so important that you test at home. You'll bring your preconceptions to every fit. It's almost impossible to get rid of them. No matter how hard as a fitter, I used to try and stop people reacting like if they wanted to know the truth. Yeah. And after years of it, you just felt like people don't really want the truth. Like you see that on YouTube, people don't want the truth. No. The truth sometimes upsets Hurts. them. They want you to just say silly romantic <laughs> things and they're happy. Best clubs in the world, these. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Um, um, so I would argue that your, your launcher still goes from those numbers, it's not really doing anything. So if I pick done. a six and a seven, yeah, I'm, I, I'm going more with what the lofts would, I would want the lofts Which we're gonna to go do. to next, yeah. So I yeah. would want the six to go quite high still, so the six I'm going tightless, and a seven, I'm going pink. T300, I tested it, I gained yeah. it. It did blooming well yeah. for what it is. As a, as a power bat, I mean, look at the two companies you're holding there. Classics, it's not, do everything it? right, yeah. don't they? It's not a surprise, is it? Do you want to talk tech? Go for it. Which one would you buy over to, I mean, looking at them, which one looks like it's got the most tech? Probably TaylorMade, Titleist, um, comes to mind. Cleveland. Yeah, I mean, so what's interesting, if you go tech, I mean, the Sim, if you pick up the Sim there and give it a little twirl, speed pocket, dampening, um, speed bridge, this bit's like the speed bridgey bit. Yeah. Which is all about creating power and making it more forgiving, low center of gravity, um, and it is uh, for giving shape and design or something it says, which, you know, it's packed with tech. Uh, if we go to the ping, you get Arcos in ping that you don't get anything uh, else. I like that. So I love all the, the tech. Grip I stuff. try and get all my students to get data now, which is really helpful for them and for me as a coach. Uh, fast, miraging steel face. It's 5% higher MOI than their prior one. I think it's saying stealth, hydropull, finish. So again, they're trying to control spins with the finish. So it's quite yeah. unique in its tech. So we get the real distinctive top on this. Speed starts at the top is their tagline. So this is carbon fiber and higher strength to weigh 
ratioed in steel, so it allows them to move CG low, so it's a continuum pattern with all of them. PWR shell brings distance, for face insert, basically 35% larger sweet zone area. So they're all can trying to control this facey part to you know help you get the most out of your miss hits, more yeah. stability on off center hits, excellent sound and feel. So the most kind of distinctive part is the max impact technology on T300. Mm -hmm. Again, it's trying to help with those off center hits, make it faster in the right areas. Again, like I say, they're all doing that. This is one of those got tungsten weights in it as well, trying to tow, trying yeah. to maximize um, forgiveness. MRIs, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is the, one of the ones that really talks about how it looks. Blending, you know, it, it's got to look a certain way, they're saying. They are really concentrated, maybe a bit more on the others, on it blending into their whole range, where certainly, like Launcher, like we were saying earlier, can't imagine anyone really blending Callaway. All that one particularly. Yes. Um, so tightness do go a little bit of an extra mile, I would say. I'm trying to make sure the tech blends with the look. So my launcher, uh, it's got a turbocharged face. It's got hollow construction, which you hear when you were hitting it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. High ball crown, this swept away crown. So obviously it gives you the big chunky look, but they're trying to like sweep it away so you do get a top line. And progressive hollowing shapes. So as you come down the irons into the more lofted, it does get calmer. Mm -hmm. um, that's like at, on the website, that's the one with the least amount of write up <laughs> about it. That's it surprising, just, isn't it? It really? just says, with the way it looks, here's a surprising. really easy to do it iron going in there. Yeah. Where the others are really kind of, there's lots of things going on. So we go into a forge category in a big chunky iron with the Epic. Yeah, we do. Um, which you'll see when we come to the price off as well. Um, they're controlled in launch, suspended tungsten core. So they're trying to control flight through where they put the tungsten and how they put it in there. 360 cut face, which they've had in their clubs for a long time. Uh, variable face uh, for consistent distance, spin control, ultra premium components. This one does push the boundaries of price. So it's really trying to do what they're all doing at an ultimate premium in theory. Yes. That leads us on to price. Should we get into the price wars? Go on then, let's talk price. Right, we've got the prices just off camera here. Epic Iron, should we start at the top? Ta yeah, top work back, shall we? So Go on, Epic cool is it. 1449 for six irons. So these are all steel shafted options. Prices vary, subject to time of year that you're watching this, deals, and also obviously your makeup. We're going six iron sets, all steel shafts. Very expensive. Next one. Second, eight, five, seven for the ping. So the pings are expensive, aren't they? Yes. They are not cheap at all. Nope. Okay. Uh, and then we go to the Titleist T300, yeah. which is six, eight, four for six irons. Okay. A little bit more where I'd imagine an iron set to be, but six irons. Get in there, yeah. Um, and then we move to the TaylorMade, six, four, nine. Again, very reasonable for the amount of tech and everything that you're getting in there. Yeah, and then we move to Cobra, 599. Again, just trying to sneak in there. Cobra are quite like a little bit of that at the moment. Even in their drivers, they're trying to sneak the price down, which is only good for the people down that lens. Absolutely. And then finally, your HB Turbos at 549. Oh, that is a good price, Cheapest. isn't it? Cheapest. Cool. So they must not perform as well, but we've looked at the numbers and the performance was kind of all in there, wasn't there? Yeah, so yeah. how do we choose now? I don't know. So price and tech. So let's say you've not seen the numbers. You're in a pro shop and you're being dis talked about what the tech of each one does. And then you're relating it to the price. Which one you got to choose one, you got to not choose one. Because obviously that's what you would do. You wouldn't hit them all in a fit. You would come in and go, Right, I'm looking at new irons, here you go, here's your category. Yeah. Which one's best for me? Well, this one might help you go higher, and this one might make you in a toe, and this one's yeah. really premium. You're gonna know your idea of what you think you should spend and what you want. Pick one, discard one. Well, I think we've been a bit harsh by putting this in the category with You've the price. You've got to discard it though, bro. <laughs> um, so that one's off. Yeah, obviously there are other models from yeah. Callaway which would be more reasonable um, but this is in this bracket. Yeah. Oh, mm, ping's still too expensive. Yeah, I agree. For the tech, I'm gonna go T300. 
good it's in choice. the middle yeah, it and is, it's isn't got it? a good amount of tech. Okay, so, so if I, I'm going to put a curveball in there. If I had to choose from those, I would be close to picking that. And as the more you do this and you delve deeper into all the different aspects of what people buy, like that is a good price and it's RAM with tech. Yeah, these two, like you put them next to each other. Like I've not, backs, yeah. Like you would say, oh, both techy yeah. and both within 50 pounds. Yeah, and yes. I've not hit them yet, so I don't know performance. No. So I understand why this one could do well. Yeah. Because um, it is ticking loads of boxes. This is such an acquired taste, but the price of this and this need to be considered. Like this is really good for its price. Yeah. But this Can't is, argue either of these are no worse than any of these. You've seen the numbers. This one offers, obviously, its very unique look. look so it will yeah. be very marmite Get that, understand that. This one, apart from your brand alliances, or maybe not loving the loft, and we'll do the loft in a second, mm -hmm. it's blooming good, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So you've gone with a tight list, which I get. So I'm I going think tight strategically, list, yeah. they've placed that well. Yeah, them, yeah, clever. So let's do a little loft count, shall we, Matt? Call out the lofts of these kids. Um, epic. Six iron. Yeah. 24 degrees. I mean, that's low. That's ridiculous. So it is ridiculous, yes. But hopefully, if you're going to get these clubs fit, any of these clubs fit, you don't would buy start, past an eight iron. You would start to understand, <laughs> though, that they are strong lofted. <laughs> they're, they're premium, but I only need three of them. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's like, feeling so that, nervous right now. No, no. This <laughs> is this is a five iron, isn't it? Or maybe even four iron. Four iron, twenty-four. It's nearly my ring key. Yeah. Which is a f like almost a two so iron like, for me. Like that's your longest club in the bag, isn't it? A six iron, yeah. So it would be then that price would maybe come down, but six iron is not okay. So twenty four, did you say in that? Then we go to HB. What's next up? Um, then you go to the tight list. Yeah. Twenty six degrees. So they're all in strong. The six iron. Twenty six point five in the turbo. Yeah, correct. And then you go um, twenty nine, twenty seven degrees in the Cobra. So Which the strongest. Which is a seven iron. Seven iron. So that's yeah. a strong seven iron. That seven iron is very close to the six iron yeah. in this. Very this. strong. This just stands out on its own as just being out there. Yeah. Um, and then you but go. The six iron of that is probably very close to that, yeah. isn't it? Mm, what do you think? No, I reckon it's... Yeah, three degrees, you're going to be going yeah. to 20... It's in between, isn't it? It's the in-between numbers, isn't it? That's strong. That yeah, is no, strong. That is strong, actually. That is strong. Seven <laughs> Calm down. 28.5 for the TaylorMade. Yeah. And 29.5 for the pin. So they're all strong lofted. So if you had to choose just on the loft numbers, What's upsetting you in there? Oh, this I've picked. You're the choosing. Winner. Okay, yeah, that's I your pick, winner. Pick that because you quite like the fact the loft is semi-sustained. Yeah, and it's more true to what I would feel like a seven iron should go. And then which one are you getting rid of? Shall I pass it to no, you? No, no, I'm getting rid of this because this is those six, two. Seven, yeah, those two. Then go come on, on yeah. take your Callaway off for one second. Yeah, <laughs> those two would go, wouldn't they? They're strong. So, yeah, again, ping just keeps coming through each category, it's doesn't a, it? It's, yeah, a standout in most categories, isn't it? I'm picking it. I'm liking it. Choose a winner, chicken dinner. Well, it's got to be the ping, isn't it? I thought you were going to pick up the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I enticed you in. I? I touched it. It was like those bad shows where they wait for ages. It's, like... uh, it's got to be, isn't it? Yeah. It's got to be I think the, the Ping G710. And I think the tight list comes really close. <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah. That was being picked as yeah, well. Yeah, the looks of that. You the picked that on because two... you, you didn't want to pay for that. No. You were willing to pay for that and yeah. you chose it on your Yeah, that's that true. Track. Yeah, yeah, that is true. I think there might be a combination of the same amount of picks in the tight list and the Ping there. Yeah, absolutely. So e either of those, but I'd probably go that because of the loft. Yeah, I, I think if I had to pick a winner, I think, I mean, again, it's just the same two companies every time. Yeah. Um, I think Sim did very well mm -hmm. and is pitched at a, not a silly price. I think Cobra does fine and is good on its price, but it's a little aggressive. You'd need to understand where to stop. Yeah. Again, with Cleveland, I game it, so I do choose it, mm -hmm. but I totally understand 
why lots wouldn't. Yeah. But the more I hit this in front of people, people are intrigued to see if it does help them. And I think with your swing, this one, you're getting the worst out of it because yeah. you're just trying to dig it out like you would all of these. Where yeah. I would like, scoop, scoop. I'm going to do a video prophecy uh, with my dad, who yeah. he saw this and wanted to try. Him. He's a real sweeper. It'd be interesting to see if we get anything different out of that. Did they do them in left handed, do they? Yeah. They do, do yeah, they? Yeah, they do, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. He ain't keeping them. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to send them back now. <laughs> um, but yeah, those two are they're always in every category going to be hard to beat. Yeah. They're just consistently solid and to the point. Well done, Ping. And well done, Titans. Yeah, absolutely. Very Push the uh, comments down below. Which one would you choose? What are the reasons why you would choose them? What reasons would you go in prior to picking these clubs? You know, I do want to spend this. I don't want to spend that much. Yeah. I do want the premium one. You know, what are those um, kind of buying points that make you choose out of them? Because as you can see from all those, yet again, they're so, so close, aren't mm -hmm. they? Yeah. You think? Yeah. That doesn't look like our video playing in the background now. It's an advert. Oh, is it? Oh, that was, um, I know that was Eric. I know that pro, he's a nice guy. Do you? That was Eric, yeah. This is our video. That's right. Oh no, line ball. Oh, what a way to end.